Are you experiencing hip pain as a result of a fall and you're hoping that it will go away, but it hasn't? Hi there, it's Nisha from My Favorite Physio. In today's video, I'm jumping in to share with you a case study of a gentleman who we met recently here in our clinic. This gentleman is in his 60s. He's extremely active and does a lot of bike riding, both on the road and stationary. Now he's still working and so he's always up and about. Unfortunately, several weeks ago, he had a fall and landed awkwardly onto his tailbone and on his arm. So he went to see his GP, was told that, you know, it's probably a little bit of trochanteric bursitis. So, you know, you just need some physio. So he came to see us. Now, what's really interesting about his case is his doctor actually did an ultrasound of his hip joint. So this is a model of the hip and his doctor had asked for an ultrasound because he thought that the pain that the patient was describing is a result of trochanteric bursitis, which is a very common cause for a hip pain. So on the ultrasound, it showed that this little bursa, a bag of fluid that sits right on that bone, the trochanter, is thickened and inflamed. So the doctor found some findings of this bursa being thickened, and that would indicate trochanteric bursitis at some point has happened in this gentleman's hip. However, when he came to physiotherapy, the hip pain that he's describing isn't exactly on the side of his hip. It is more on the back of his hip joint around the buttock muscles, right where his tailbone is, where he landed on his fall. He also felt the pain on the front of his groin where the hip joint is. So when we did a full assessment, we found that none of that pain is really bothering him. So he doesn't really have pain on the side of his hip where the bursa is. He did have some bursitis at some point and the scans tell us so, but it's not the cause of his current hip pain. When we have a feel of his muscles on the back, all his gluteal muscles around the buttock and around the tailbone, what we found was he had a lot of pain right in there and it was giving him the pain that he was feeling. And that's actually a result of a deep muscle in here called the piriformis. So we were able to treat that piriformis muscle with our radio shockwave therapy, which you see behind us. And literally he got off that bed feeling a lot better. We were also assessing the front of his hip and the thigh muscles that go and insert into the hip joint. And we found that his hem, his quadriceps muscle and hamstring muscles on the inside of his leg was actually causing him a lot of pain right into that hip joint near the groin. So again, we could treat that muscle all the way down to his knee joint using our radio shockwave therapy. And literally he got up of the bed feeling much better for it. Now, fast forward two weeks down the road, we have managed to get rid of all his muscle tightness and therefore his hip pain. And he's back to being active, back on his bike, exercising and getting about his day pain free. So the moral of the story is it's really important to get your hip pain assessed by an expert physiotherapist who can determine exactly the cause of your hip pain rather than go off on the scan alone because scans don't always correlate to the pain that you feel. So it's really important to have a thorough assessment of your hip joint and all the muscles into your hip joint and down to your knee to get the right cause of your hip pain so we can help you overcome it effectively. So if you're out there and you've been putting up with hip pain or you've been told this is one cause for your hip pain, but despite whatever you do, whether it's exercise or whether it's therapy, it's still not gone away. It might be that the therapist or the doctors actually base their treatment on a scan which may not actually be showing the right cause of your hip pain right now. So if that sounds like you, what you need to do is to ring us here at My Favorite Physio. Speak to one of our expert physiotherapists. Find out how we can help you overcome your hip pain. The number to ring is 02 
And if you know somebody out there who's been putting up with hip pain and just saying, well, it's just old age. I, I have to accept pain as I get older. Why don't you like and share this video with them? Until next time, have a fantastic day. Bye.